Keith. You ain't got no time to breathe, bro. I feel that tap tap, and I'm like, all right, guess it's go time again. Hey, if you're not full send, <laughs> you're not sending it. Hashtag full send. Hashtag full send. Dude, dude. <laughs> Look at the oh guy. my gosh. Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. Today is gonna be cool, guys. Here's what we're doing. I'm going fishing with my buddy, Fishing with Norm. Super cool dude. But here's what's gonna happen that's gonna be kind of fun, is I'm going to teach him how to fish with spoons, or as I like to call them, fishing with kitchen utensils. So, giant spoons, regular size spoons, all kinds of spoons, big, metal, chunky, fun things that especially during the summer can get fish to bite when they won't bite anything else. They create a reaction, they can get some freaking giant bites. Oh my god! <laughs> and so we're gonna go out there and bet on some really good fish in the morning. I'm gonna teach Norm and in the process teach you guys some of the tips, techniques for seeing the fish on the graph, throwing the spoon, fishing the spoon, catching them on the spoon, all that stuff. So I'm hoping we'll run into some giants because I've been on some big fish out there using things like this and hopefully Norm can get a shot at his PB or at least a gigantic Jigunda Bass because that's how we roll. Two seconds of your time, go down, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss gigantic fish on big spoons, kitchen utensil fishing baby. But we're going to learn about fishing with kitchen utensils, fishing with big spoons, dead of summer, hot, but the payoff can be huge especially if you hit them right. Let's get on to the video. Uh, she might be snagged or she's freaking gigantic, dude. I think she might be snagged. No, just get down there. Grab, or, or you can do that. <laughs> I don't know. I think she's snagged, to be honest. Or it's freaking huge. Oh my god. Nah, I think she's snagged, dude, but I don't. Oh yeah, she's just a good one, but she's snagged. She double hook snagged. Caught her with the other hook, dude. Mikey. Freaking craziness, no. huh? <laughs> craziness. Dude. Guys, we've been out here for five minutes. Are you kidding me? It's freaking stupid, huh? That's stupid. But dude, you gotta you gotta get off that camera and get it freaking get on. Let me throw her back quick. Get down there. They're freaking they're making spaghetti. You just tossed her no picture or anything. Dude, they're making spaghetti on the bottom. Get down All there. Right. Grab that spoon, kid. Grab the spoon? Yeah. And like literally you ain't gotta go that far out. Yeah. Those are all fish right there, guys. Yeah. Dude, you got a big spoon? You want one? They're all over, dude. You catch them on a spoon. At least that's what they're biting now. I got a couple extra if you want to. We'll give them some spoons. <clears throat> no, just use them. Catch the fish. You can give them back later. <laughs> all right, it's a little different color than I've been throwing, and that one's a little bit smaller, I think. But if you got like a flipping stick, yes. just put it on a flipping stick, dude, and like, Get it down there and freaking, dude, freaking jerk that thing up and you know, dude. Yeah, just run into me later, dude. Like 1920. And you'll see them, they're up like five, six foot off the bottom. Yeah. But don't tell nobody about that, all right? But like, you kind of want to get that spoon up a little. God, they should bite this. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> all right, I'm grabbing the dude, I think she's snagged, though. <laughs> I think she's snagged. My oh God. Uh -oh. oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Here. No, you're good. Get down, get the spoon and get down there. Dude, don't worry about this. Get the spoon and get that. Just go straight down. Don't go casting. Straight down. Bros. Bros. We're bro heming it. Oh, God. She's, she's going to come off. She didn't come off. Sweet. Bros. Look how fat they are. So freaking fat, dude. But dude, look at this. Look at what they're. Why look at the graph right. Why am I not recording? Look at the graph right now. I just got bit, dude. Oh, <laughs> I even know. Your freaking rod tip got, just bounced. All right, take your time. Oh, <laughs> dude, what? Are you kidding me, <laughs> guys? That's two. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's cool though. You that get you're awesome. getting the idea. That is crazy. All right. 
Lojo ain't here, so he can't give you the bad juju, dude. You got this. Fish on? Yeah. Good one? Feels like a good one. All right, just watch your drag. You might need to play with your drag, dude. Jesus Take your Christ. time. That fish fell. Take your time. Norm's got a freaking monster. That's the first time I've had a bass kill drag in a while. I haven't even seen it. And that's 20 oh pound fluorocarbon on a flipping stick, Chief. Please do not come off. Guys, this one's. <laughs> dude. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you watch him. Don't, don't, not too much. Not, tip, tip. Watch your tip. You gotta let him have a little bit more play in him. I don't like this. No, I don't either. Like oh my god. Oh. <laughs> nice job, Norm. Dude, no. Way. Came right off, too, dude. Guys, how about that for a combo? Look at the gut on that thing. Here you go, dude. Oh you can throw her in the level real All quick, right. dude. Make sure there's water in there, but nicely done, bro. All right, guys, we're gonna get back down there like immediately because they're freaking down there. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed to Mikey Balls yet, uh, get, get yourself some. What, what are you doing? One big trick with these schooling fish though, they're definitely eating because you can see them kind of coming up high. You probably saw some of the graph images. Well, dude, you gotta keep after them. Like you can't miss an opportunity. And that's something where I learned from when we caught that 49 pound bag and some of those 40 pound bags back, like what was it, six, seven months ago? We, we wanted to shoot some video. We're so excited, you know, we wanna get fish on the scales, but we really missed some opportunities for maybe even a potential 50 pound bag. And I'm not gonna miss that chance again because I want to catch it on video for me and you guys. But we got Norm, you know, like kind of jerking the spoon. I'm going to show you kind of how he's doing it. Norm, you want to show these jokers real quick? Oh, I'm so down. So, what Mikey said was to toss it out about five feet or so, leave the bale open, and that line will start running. Wait for it to hit the bottom. Yeah. Every once in a while, you, <laughs> if you give it a snap, sometimes the spoon will lay up on its side, and then yeah. it, like it'll it'll go down. You Wait for it to hit the bottom. As soon as it's at the bottom. We jerk up like that. That's <laughs> I feel like I look like a goober doing no, it. No, you're good, dude. But we're basically you're stroking it up. You're trying to get a reaction strike. And the other key, and this is the big thing that I told Norm, like we saw them higher on the graph, you're getting that bait higher. You know, even though those fish seem to be biting at the bottom, yeah. you're, you're teasing them up and letting them come down to the bait. Or maybe they're grabbing it and Most swimming down. Most of my bites have been on the fall and when it hits the bottom when it hits the bottom and that's classic spoon fishing yeah. you know the other thing that norm kind of mentioned too with he's pitching it like five foot out the reason he's pitching it five foot out is we're not totally video game fishing but i'm seeing little pods and i'm like norm norm get down get down you know get down there straight below the boat otherwise we would be casting if you're trying to cover water but we're really targeting just small pods of fish that are swimming back and forth you, you catch some you don't catch some like it, it's hit or miss but you know your bait's in the strike zone you're targeting fish that are down there trust your electronics we're gonna wait in a little bit but we want to catch some more fish first there's a real key way to how we have this rigged up and how we didn't lose some fish you probably saw an earlier video where we talked about flat water fishing and um some other stuff where we were actually we caught like an 11 and a 9 just massive but i missed a bunch of bites on the spoon because that's what happens or they come off but norm's got this this meg nichols ben parker spoon so i call oh look at the teeth mark you see that dude Dude, that's crazy i just noticed that, <laughs> so the camera that. that real great look at the teeth marks on that thing dude like it's been chawed, <laughs> and and that's the problem we have because you you missed a lot of bites. Like they would be like, Doosh, and, and then they're gone, and then they're gone. Yeah. So I called my buddy. You guys probably know him, JT Kenny. He fishes on the FLW tour. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. Dude is a stick, awesome freaking dude, and he gave us this tip. So credit 100% JT Kenny on this. But you'll see we have a giant hook on top of this spoon. So what I asked him is, how do you put another hook on this big spoon without it falling? And you can see, Norm, like, it's directly on the split ring. And what he told me, do you wanna hold that thing like flat like this real quick? He said, hold the spoon flat like that, lay the treble on there, and then thread it on the, the freaking um, the split ring just like that and that's the way you're still gonna follow it every once in a while jerking it up because it is fluttering down but if you get it just on that ring like that so it lays flat with the two hooks laying flat or parallel with the, the spoon when you got the, the cup side down that's how you're gonna have that double hook on there so we have a hook on the front we have a hook on the back and the, the big key with that is these fish kind of thrash at it or they'll 
I don't know what, how you even describe it. Dude. There is no describing. <laughs> it. <laughs> awesome. They'll awesome at it. But they'll, they'll go at it and hook, you hooked a couple with that top one. Like if we would have yeah. had that top one on there, you want to land I would have lost dude. a few. If you're in a tournament situation or if you're in a situation where you need to freaking land those fish, having an extra set of troubles, just like a crankbait, really makes a difference. And it caught yeah, you it doesn't hurt. Almost PV. Almost. Almost. A few ounces <laughs> off. <laughs> so that's a quick tip on smag spoon or even regular spoon fishing for you when you got those fish doing the spaghetti under the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Dude, they, they follow it down. This one's like head shaking. He might not be that big. But I don't know. Oh, oh psych. Psych. Get your time. I'm taking my time. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, Mike! Oh my god. Relax, relax, bro. Holy crap. Oh, bro! Get him, bro! <laughs> 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 you good, you good? <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> Mikey, dude! <laughs> That's my PB. <laughs> Mikey! <laughs> Oh my, I don't know if that's my PB. <laughs> that might be my PB, bro. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. What? Hold it. Jesus. Dude, I gotta... Oh my, alright. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Just freaking out. Don't cry on me now, Norm. <laughs> Jesus, crying, no dude. crying aloud, bro. Dude. Oh, you got him in the eyeball, though. That poor joker. That poor... Well, I'm just hooking him in the eye today, bro. You are, dude. You're, you're all about blinding him. You don't want him to see you. Dude, that thing is gorgeous. Oh I don't know how big this one is, dude. Oh, she's about to show herself, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, she's not ready quite yet. Oh, my God. Oh, she got it on she's, the side, yeah, dude. Yeah, she's side hooked. You can Still get her back to me. Fish, though, bro. Dude, this is freaking giant. Dude, that's a giant. <laughs> Mikey, bro. Dude, that's another six and a half, seven okay. pounder. If somebody says, I swear if somebody says in the comment section that we did not catch 30 pound, a 30 pound bag, you guys are silly. All right. Her. Another one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> guys, I got to figure out my camera. Something's going on with the camera. The portable charger isn't working, but guys, where did this girl go? I caught a big fish and I caught my shoe. Oh, you're a boss. All right, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. We let her go. Appreciate and release. Dude. Another stud. Like, look at that fish. Dude, they're so broad, aren't they? Oh, she's gone. It's like, <laughs> Norm? I know that guy. <laughs> she wanted to be on the YouTube. I don't know why I'm grabbing your camera. I don't know why. He's grabbing my <laughs> camera. So He's hooking his feet, dude. Norm, go sit down, buddy. Right. Go sit down. All right. <laughs> All year, dude. I'm good for the year. I'll come back next year. I don't even know what to say. It's a big old fork. Forks and knives, that's, that's what yeah, we're using out here. We're sure. using silverware out here. This is just crazy fishing. This is awesome. Like, uh, things are coming together, dude. I wanted him to get some big bites. We went out to Okeechobee and had such a grind, and now he's out here. Dude, he was so kind of tired and low on Okeechobee. Like, it was a grind, dude. And seeing him so jacked up out here, this is freaking, I'm stoked. I, I don't care if I'm not catching him. I'm catching some fish, but I want him to catch the juice, and that's exactly what's happening. Snapchatting like a boss. Yeah, yeah dude. Ball. Snapchat's where it's at. Dude. We need to get those released because I don't like being mean to fish. We did want to get a good picture, but you know, we, we want to get these fish released. So we're going to put them on the scale for you. And we know we got a dirty 30 because we got some extra six and five pounders, but we kept three big we were ones. We're just tossing them back. Yeah. There's we kept three, three big, big ones, ones in there. And you tossed back a few like five and six pounders yep. for sure. Yep. Big time. Hashtag big time, baby. But uh, we're, we're going to get them on the scale so we can get these released. Take care of what you love. That's the whole deal. Weigh in time, weigh in time, because we're gonna weigh in these fish. They need to be weighed in and released. Yeah, I'm singing again. Right, so this thing, guys, here we go. We are going to, Norm is going to weigh these, Joker. Are you ready? Dude, I'm ready. I want to see what these things weigh, guys. We got, I got two big ones in here. We got three, we got three. really nice fish. All right. And a possible PB. We're going to see the biggest possible. one in here is the one Norm caught on the bank spoon. And that could be, it could be. It could I, be. I, I don't, I don't be, think so. I, I don't it's going to be so, close. Dude. It's going to be really close. All right. Fish number one, gentlemen. What's she saying? Oh, my God. What? 
what? Eight five. Eight five. Here, let's get bring her up to the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Eight five, gentlemen. Look Dude. at that freaking tank. Uh oh. It's smaller. <laughs> We're go, still gonna give it away. Go. What's she saying? That's like a five or six. Six one, gentlemen. Here, I'll get her up on here. Six one. Six one. This is a bigger it's one. It's a big belly. I thought this was like this one. Dude, this is a big one. All right, good deal. Oh, <laughs> this is a big one, guys. We're saving the bigger one for last. Might be closer than you think. Go ahead. All right, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, they're up. I'm not looking, dude. I'm not looking. Are you kidding? What is oh, it? Oh, my God. You're going to die. Oh. What is it? What is it, my oh, oh. Nine, nine. No. Nine, nine. <laughs> Check this out. Wait, is that a P? Okay. But here's the deal. It said 913 and then it <laughs> dropped down. Dude, dude. I, I I know this is your fish, but I'm gonna be a bad guy. Look at dude. Look, I mean Oh my god. god. Dude, that's a freaking bro. stud. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, bro. Guys, that's freaking nuts. Dude, so wait a second. Nine, eight, five, six. So nine plus eight is 15? No. No. <laughs> no. That's not it. 17. 17 plus 6 is 23 without the change. So that puts us at 23 pounds with three fish. And I guarantee you we had two more five pounders at least. Easy. So that'll put us at 33. So we have to go catch another magnum to get a little closer to 40, don't we? Dude, that would be insane. <laughs> Love to let him go, dude. Here's a little baby. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. Oh my god. Hammer time, boys. <laughs> Guys, that's huge. Oh my gosh, so close to the PB. All right. Let's get her. Oh, she's ready, dude. She's ready. ready. She's gone. That's what we like to see. How big was she? Eight, one? Eight, five. Eight, eight five? Look how that gut just sticks dude. out. Dude. Oh my gosh. Back to the homeland, baby. Oh, she's ready. <laughs> Bad release, but she, she was ready to go, dude. Dude. Bro, I like when the plan comes together. Let's get back to fishing, guys. Like, for real. This is crazy. A eight, a nine, a six, and probably some more fives. We're over 30 pounds. We got the dirty 30. We got the dirty 30, baby. So that is fishing with kitchen utensils, boys. And in particular, that spoon. That spoon is freaking awesome. It's I wild. wanted Norm to catch it. <laughs> now he's hooked, dude. All he wants to do is, he's like, hey, let's go over there and try that spoon. So <laughs> let's bring it. <laughs> he's hooked, dude, which is freaking cool. But you know, summertime, dude, it's a grind. And you know that now, yeah. dude, we're on our outro. We're kind of like wrapping up the day. We basically, after that morning, I don't think we got another bite. We didn't have, I think we had one bite later on, but that was just about it. Dude, it, it's a grind, and if you don't hit them, windows, we've talked about in some of these past videos, definitely check out, dude, we got an 11 pounder and a nine on the same day, stupid. But windows, 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 dude. We had two hours, total ecstasy, freaking fun, insanity. You almost caught your PB on a spoon. Almost. It was a few ounces off. <laughs> but that, ounces. that's freaking summer, dude. It sucks, you're hot, but dude, when you hit them, it's freaking game on. So grab yourself some of those spoons. Kitchen Utensils 101. That's how you catch bass <laughs> in summer, dude. Get out the metal. Get out the hard stuff. But uh, make, make sure you're subscribed to Fishing with Norm. Fishing with Norm. That's <laughs> <laughs> I love this kid. He's good stuff. And definitely check out his buddy. He's not around, but he's actually hanging out in a different city just a little ways away from us. Uh, Lojo Fishing, dude. These two guys are freaking cool as hell and super fun to hang out with. I'm glad we got him on his first spoon fish, dude. So we're going to throw in the towel. It's hot as balls. He needs to get up to do what he's doing. But uh, make sure you like and subscribe, dude. If you dig this kind of content, if you get dig guys like catching their first spoon fish, a magnum freaking nine pounder, dude. And if you dig real fishing, dude, support stuff that you actually dig. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. Subscribe to this guy. He's the freaking man. He's growing. He's good stuff. But dude, freaking support what you love because that's what it's about. But that's going to be it. Tight lines, and hopefully, we're going to see you again. You oh, and your combos. We'll my, com my combo <laughs> tummy. <laughs> we'll see him again, though. Check him out, dude. But tight lines, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, appreciate you.